Hello everybody, this is Stringham back to kick off round 6 for Group F. And we have got this fight card for you ladies and gentlemen, so check it out. So you can see our main event of this session, it is Diddy Darius going up against the DT. Defeat for Diddy Darius would leave him on the brink of a group stage exit for a victory, while a bonus point victory would get them in that top 4. But before that, we have Dino fans taking a crack at Epic Brad. Epic Brad also in the same boat as uh, Diddy Darius needed a win against Dino fans. And a victory for them, a, with a bonus point, would put them in a the top four. Then we also have M Steel vs Moore's Luck. The winner of that matchup will pretty much secure a place in the knockout rounds. But at first, it is Gazmaniac going up against Ultimate Dino King. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Gazmaniac, we got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Okay, this is an interesting field. Ultimate will get terrain advantage in this match, courtesy of the Myasaura. Victory for Gazmaniac would put them third in the table, a bonus point win, and they could go second. One point behind Ultimate. In the blue corner for Ultimate Dino King, we have got Ainiosaurus. Um, a victory wouldn't guarantee a place in the knockout round, but they'd be all but there. <laughs> Well, they'd have to have, have, if other results go their way in this round, then yes, they probably will secure a place in the knockout rounds. But they won't secure a top spot. And Gazmania gets the first shot of the match. It's a banana surprise. Whee! And an Earth Barrier as well. What a start from Gazmania. Ooh, okay, that's a Thunder Bazooka, it's a hit, but Earth Barrier is going to limit the damage. That could be a critical Earth Barrier there. And yet, there's another hit from Gazmania, the type advantage is really helping, another Earth Barrier. I think that'll cap out now for Earth Barriers. Well, it should. There should be a cap on it. It's absurd. And just like that, Gazmaniac races into an early lead. Right, coming in next for the Dino King, we got Sathiosaurus, it's willpower type. Ties will strengthen its attacks. But needs to deal with this Kentrosaurus because it's looking strong so far. Yes, yes, come on. Okay, it's a tie. And that's a banana surprise. It's all Gazmaniac. Okay, there's a hit. That's going to trigger the Futaba Cannon as well. That's going to get rid of the Earth Barrier too. Good shot by Ultima. Badoosh, but tight, but Gazmania again. Back on in it, and Earth Barrier is activatable. Wow, that's insane. And there's a banana surprise, and it's 2 0 to Gazmania. But Myasaur does come in next, and it will get the next hit. Right, um, coming in third from the Dino King. It's been real trouble here. We got Myasaura. Again, it's got terrain advantage. It's going to get the next hit. It's going to be a paper hit. He's going to need that hit. He's only got like one shot this entire match. Actually, two, because he hit for the Earth Barrier as well. Well, both of them have been stopped by Earth Barrier. <laughs> Okay, there's the hit. The attack boost is going to activate. That's definitely going to help. Okay, that's a tie. That triggers the two platoon crush. And we see two platoon crush. The attack boost is maxed up as well. That's also going to come in handy. Kentrosaurus finally going down. Boosh. 
smash. Ultimate finally putting up a fight. Right, coming in next for Gazmania, we got Torvosaurus. Can Torvosaurus secure the bonus point win for Gazmania, which would be a huge result for them. Ooh, okay. Ultimate starting to get some hits going here. Getting some momentum. If I can land a crit on this, then all of a sudden... Okay, that triggers the two platoon crush. And it triggers the burning dash as well. That's a tie. Another tie. Okay, well, Gazmaniac is probably going to get a losing bonus point here, but can they get... Oh, they're not going to get the bonus point win. Instead, the Torvosaurus is going down. This is a really good fight back from Ultima. But coming in third for Gazmaniac, we have got the Super Titanosaurus. Awaken mode on three. But at the minute, you have to say, momentum right now is with Ultima Dino King. Can they keep this momentum up and produce a remark? Well, it would be a remarkable comeback. Okay, that's a two. That's a tie. And that's another hit from Ultima. Although the ties are wearing down the uh, Myasaurus. Well, both of our guys are going to get losing bonus points out of this. But it's Gazmaniac that gets the win. It's not a bonus point win, but it is three huge points for them in this group. Ultimate will get a losing bonus point, which is the least they deserve for that fight back. But yeah, the damage was certainly done early with a Kentrosaurus. But it is a huge result for Gazmaniac. And that puts them right into the mix going into that final round. Right, on to our next match now. Okie dokie, in the red corner for M Steel, we got Super Tarvasaurus, Awaker Mode on 3, and it's got Terrain Advantage, that makes things interesting. M Steel enjoying a really good tournament so far for their debut, and a win here would put, well, it would put them second because they don't have the head to head on Ultimate Dino Kick. Actually, no, they'd still be a point off. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Anyway, in the blue corner for Morsla, we have got Gone Wanna Titan, the little sauropod with the big heart. Morsla having a really good tournament, and a win here would put them joint top with Ultima Dino King. They'd still be second by virtue of the head-to-head, -head, of course, but if they did get a bonus point win, they would go top. But unfortunately for M-Steel, even a bonus point win won't be enough for them to go top, unless they get a 3-0 win. Which... Well, I say it won't happen, but uh, watch it. I'll say watch it happen then. Okay, there was the uh, terrain hit. And there's another hit. This is a good start from M Steel. He's got an awakened hit. He's got the death fire. So he's got the tools to deal with the type disadvantage. And he's dealing with it very well. And a mentor, future! Oh, Morsler can't even fire a shot! Not a shot fired at that Tarbosaurus. And M Steel races into a 1 0 lead and now has type advantage over this Allosaurus. What a start from M Steel. Coming in next for Morsel, we've got Allosaurus, of course. Now it's got type disadvantage, which is a big problem. Because M Steel is uh, looking pretty strong so far. I think this happened in Morsel's last match. They got like hit after hit after hit against D-Team, but this time it's going against them. Oh, look at that! But the Dino stuff is going to come in and put a stop to that crit. Ah, oh, finally Morsel gets a hit. Allosaurus striking first. Now, even though M Steel has got that's their first shot of the match, Morsa, 
they're not that far behind because the Awaken mode does take half your Dino's HP after usage. And that tie, with the tie bomb, is going to down the Tarbosaurus. So with everything said and done, even though M-Steel has had the majority of hits in this match, we are pretty much square. Right, coming in next for M Steel, we've got Penticeratops. That is the risk of you that is the danger of using a super dinosaur. It's a good finisher, you know, it's a good it's, it's they are good, but you know, that is the downside, and it needs that downside, otherwise he'd be too OP. <laughs> Imagine doing double damage, double technique like every turn. It's absurd. But it is now Morsla starting to get hits in this match. And somehow in the lead. This happened to M Steel in their last match where they had more hits, but they lost. And you know, it can happen. You know, it depends on what kind of hits you get, but M Steel getting back on track there with a good shot. Pentaceratops very balanced. Ooh, Allosaurus getting the next shot though. Not gonna get the ram hit this time. Another tie bomb coming in. But the counter blitz has been triggered, which does make things interesting. A tie would a tie would be exactly what Moore's at once. Okay, it's not ideal because the counter blitz activates. This might be lethal for the Allosaurus, and if it is, the tie bombs will go as well. And it is. Right, coming in third for Morsla, we have got a Pachycephalosaurus. Can this Pachycephalosaurus pull it back for Morsla? It's capable, I mean, we saw what Dino Hunters could do. <laughs> it's very capable. Okay, there's a hit, and yet, like I said, the tie bombs are gone, which is unfortunate. Oh, come on, another counter blitz? Now that is absurd. Given this freaking Pentaceratops, not E or after. Okay, but this time it's a tie, and that does suit Morsa. As does that hit, it finishes off Pentaceratops, and yet, yeah, very all square match. Even though I do feel M Steel has had more hits. I think it's down to the tide wearing his dinos down. Right, anyway, coming in third for M-Steel, we've got Ampelosaurus. Yeah, i got nothing to say. <laughs> okay, Ampelosaurus does get the first shot. It's a dino swing, which is not really a great move to use on it, to be honest. Mm. There's a splash tea in my face. <laughs> Good thing it's cold. Oh, just like that! Okay, the secret move has been triggered actually, so this might not be lethal, but just like that, that's how quick a match can turn. Oh, and it doesn't kill it. Okay, that's because the secret move was triggered. Could that be. Could that come back to haunt M Steel? Nope! <laughs> oh, hang on, this might be revival type. Okay, it's not. I, for I thought it was revival type for a reason, for some reason there. But it is M Steel's victory. They get the points. It's three points on the board, and that puts them in a really strong position to get out of this group. That was fun, wasn't it? Right, on to match number three. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Dino fans, we've got the Blitz type Tarbosaurus. So you know the deal. It'll be going for them two crits. Dino fans currently, well, outside the top four, because Gazmaniac won, but a win would put them back in the top four. Defeat, and they'd have to do it all on the last day. Right, in the blue corner, representing Epic Brad, we've got Alpha Chasmosaurus, and well, Epic Brad has to win this match to stay alive in this tournament. Defeat here all but ends their hopes of getting out of this group. 
Um, the first two results haven't really helped. Well, Morsla MC, one of them was going to get a win. Well, it could have ended a draw, I suppose, but the odds are one of them was going to win. Okay, there's a tie. But Gaz Maniac winning the first match really didn't help. Okay. That was a two, so... Dino Fans does indeed get a crit off. And a flare sword. Good shot there. <laughs> I almost botched that then. Good thing I didn't. Good start from Dino Fans getting one crit off. Ooh, but Epic Brad responds with their first shot of the match. It's a banana surprise, a Tukuvora dive to come. Good response. So as I say, Gas Maniac winning it has kind of shaken things up at the bottom because I don't think that was necessarily expected. Oh, please don't die at the same time. Okay, the Tabasaurus does survive. Phew. But all those ties do take out Kazmosaurus. Right, coming in next for Epic Brad, we got Spiny Tector. Spiny Tector. This guy's going to be huge if Epic Brad wants this win. Bum, 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 bum. Well, it's a Dino Tector, so it's perfectly capable. And, and he's got type advantage over the Tarbosaurus as well, so... Well, that doesn't matter because Tarbosaurus has got no health. <laughs> well, if, it, if he gets a hit, it won't do as much damage, but unfortunately that hit would be a crit. Okay, there's a hit. Does fill up the bar as well. And we are all square. Okie dokie, coming in next for Dino Fans, we got Swaposaurus. This one is the Crisis variety. And if it does get below, it do, if it does get into the red HP, which I suspect it will, it will hit really hard. So I, Brad does need to be wary of that. There's a tie. Ooh, the Dino fans get in the hit. The Tappy Jara dive. Okay, Aqua Vortex has been triggered. That will help Epic Brown. It will allow him to attack during a tie, which could come in handy here. And we have had a lot of ties in this match. Oh, but unfortunately, not a tie that time. That's a crit, and that could be a big crit. Dino fans opening up a decent lead again. And going to one up. That could be big for a big for Epic Brad. This could be even bigger for Dino fans. Can they get a bonus point win out of this? Well, there's still a long way to go. Coming in third for Epic Brad, we've got Ferrazinosaurus. And Epic Brad really does need to win this match. But we won't count them out yet. This ferry is very capable of pulling it back. So Dino fans, not home and hosed yet. Well, they will be if they keep getting hits. Epic Brad just can't get anything going. Okay, there we go. Finally a hit for Epic Brad. And this ferry is counter type, so... That hit will do some damage. Attack boost activating there. That probably does mean that the Ceratosaurus will be one hit away from getting killed. Oh, but get the crit! Okay, the Crisis effect won't activate because Ceratosaurus is still on relatively high health. But that's a massive hit from Dino fans. One hit and they get the bonus point win, which would be huge for them. Okay, there's a hit. Attack boost. The counter effect's going to activate. That is probably going to down Ceratosaurus. And it does go down. So that does deny Dino fans the bonus point win. Right, coming in next for Dino fans, we have got Tank. Well, we know how resilient this little fella can be. 
And one hit will do it for Dino Fangs. That's all it takes. But that fairy is maxed up in attack boost. If it gets a secret move triggered, maybe. If it gets a claw blade off, things could be interesting here. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Not having any of it. Down goes the fairy. It is Dino Fans' victory, and that could be a big victory for them. And as for Epic Brad, that's probably going to be it for them in this tournament. They're not going to get enough points to get out of this group. They are done. Now then, on to our main event. And after those three results, it is must not lose for Diddy Darius. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Diddy Darius, we have got Storacosaurus. Well, we all know the narrative is win or bust for our former champ. Defeat here ends their hopes of getting out of the group and will condemn them to a group stage elimination. In the blue corner for D Team, we have got Super Chomp, Awaken Mode on 3, and D Team will get terrain advantage in this matchup courtesy of that Ace Dino Tactor in seconds. So that could be a big factor. As for D Team, well, they've had an interesting debut tournament so far. They've got some really good wins, but they've had some spectacular losses. <laughs> so, yeah, a bit enigmatic this team. And if they do win, I do believe that will put them in the top four. Or maybe just outside. It'll keep them in touching distance. Oh, that's a good start from Chomp. Well, not the start you want if you're Diddy Darius. Two hits off the ball, off the mark from Chomp. And well, we're going to see some awakened action. Elemental Fusion! That's a tie, but that's not really good for Diddy. That is, though. Okay, Dino stuff is going to stop that crit, but... The significance of that crit stops Chomp getting an awakened hit off. And it halves his health because he was awakened. So it's not the worst dino stuffer in the world there. And Diddy Darius starting to get hits in this match. A Gatlin Spark coming in here. This will do some damage to Chomp. We freaking killed it! Pretty impressive. Right, coming in next for D-Team, we have got Ace Dino Tech that has got terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit, which will be lethal for Stratosaurus, I suspect. So after everything said and done, we are level packing. But this is the big threat for the D-Team. This is the big one for Diddy Darius. If you can get rid of this Ace quick, that will set him up nicely to win this match. Utah. The one thing that Diddy Darius does have to be very wary of is that Dino Tector bar. And the Dino Illusion as well. Right, coming in next for Diddy Darius, we've got Stegosaurus. Now, this Stegosaurus can hit really, really hard. And we, we saw how hard it could hit when uh, Iron Dan got a crit on the. Zuniceratops. Okay, there's a good hit there. Attack boost activating. Venom Fang activating. That's going to really help. That's a very good way to play around the Dino Illusion. Okay, Dino Illusion didn't get triggered either. Good shot that from Diddy Darius. Okay, that's a tie. That triggers the Quake Saber. Oh, no uh, poison there. Interesting. It's another tie. Okay, this Ace is tie defense type, so that is that could be a problem for Diddy. But it is another hit. The attack boost is maxing up. This is very good from Diddy Darius. 
Venom Fang gonna come in here? But Poison Ace yet again. Okay, he should get the Dino Illusion off this time. And he does. But Ace is on relatively low health. So there we go, there's the Poison doing its work. Ooh, Ace finally getting a hit there. And look how quick one hit and the Dino Tector gets, ma gets activated. And then everything could change. Okay, there is our hit. And we are going to see Dino Tector. So, you know the deal. Time to enter the code. You see it. Dino Tector. Oh! We're at an interesting crossroads here. Because he still has the Dino Illusion protecting him. Oh, did he die? Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, wait, what? Whoa. Um, was that a, is that a bug? I've never seen that before. Ooh, controversy. Should D-Team have got off a Dino Illusion? That could be costly if D-Team loses this match. Right, anyway, coming in next, third for D-Team, we got Super Paris, Awake the Mode on 3. It's still all to play for, they got the type advantage over that Steg, and D-Team's gonna need it. Because our Steg is doing some good work for Team Diddy Darius. But one thing's for certain, Diddy Darius is not going down without a fight. He's gonna give it absolutely everything to make sure he stays alive in this tournament, and yet there it is. Stegosaurus going down, ironically, to the Venom Fang. Um, well, it's all on this now. What a massive couple of turns this could be. Coming in food for Diddy Darius, we have got Kakuodontosaurus. And this Kakuodontosaurus has got to perform. Stegosaurus has done its bit, Storacosaurus has done its bit. Can Kakuodontosaurus do his job? Okay, there's a hit. Okay, that's once. Oh, that's a big crit. That's going to secure the losing bonus point, but, well, like I said, that's not enough. Oh, is that going to be lethal? Has Diddy got the win? Oh, he doesn't. And is awakening time. One big awakened hit here can completely change this match. Okay, that's a tie. Is that lethal? It's not! Oh, it's all on this. Oh, it's a crit! And that could be it for Diddy Darius. They could be done in this tournament. They are done! Diddy Darius is gone! Unbelievable finish. That awakened hit. Heartbreak for Diddy Darius, the former champ, and they are going out at the group stage. Unbelievable win for D, D Team, though. But Diddy Darius, so close. I think that kind of sums up their tournament. They just get right to the wire and they just can't get that killer hit. That is tough. That is really, really rough. But. That is how it goes sometimes. Right, we'll have a look at the table. We can end the session. Well, what what can you say about this group? That is super tight, and yet it is confirmed our first, well, our second big casualty of the tournament. Diddy Darius going out at the group stage. I, thought, I don't think anyone would have seen that come in. And yet, unfortunately for Epic Brad, they go out as well. But these, these lot... Theoretically, top spot is well up for grabs. This has been such an insane group. Hang on, forgot to update that. Ultima Dino King does cling on to the top spot there because they did get a losing bonus point. M Steel climbing up the second above Dino fans by the head to head. D Team in the top four on 12 points. Those bonus points they're getting are proving crucial. Morsel and Gasmaniac level on points. Morsel having the head to head over Gasmaniac. Yeah. 
this is this is insane. Round seven. Yeah, we we have a scenario where Ultimate Dino King could crash out of the group stage on 14 points. That'd be crazy. I mean, it's a very slim chance, and it would have to be a lot of specific results for that to happen. So I'm pretty confident in saying they'll go through. But yeah, this group is wide open. Anyone could take it. These three, these four spots. And yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.